Yo, hello guys, and welcome back to another exciting Ryotech Corporation video. Well, today I'm showcasing a new game that's coming out on mobile. It's called Darkland Wars. Alright, now Darkland Wars is going to be an exciting MMORTS set in the fantasy realm where players will compete for control over 10 kingdoms in order to eventually rule and control the realms. It is a unique game in the genre and it has no pay to win component. Did you hear that? No pay to win. So right here, we're trying to come up with uh, different combinations of elements for the spells so that we can create some spells for the game. Um, so while we're doing this, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the game. All right, so that because there's no pay to win, there's not gonna be any super, what they call super castles. That they, they're so overwhelmingly powerful they can dominate the game. There's not going to be any of that. Uh, competitive balance is very important to the developers, so they're going to keep it no pay to win. They, they like that no pay to win component, so they're going to keep it. Um, also, new players will be able to use speeds for growth and catch up to older players. Um, with that, Along with the lack of a pay to win structure will prevent the server death that plagues games in the genre already. So here's some of the features. There can be customizable creatures to fit your playstyle, design with them and with unique attributes, build your castle to strengthen your kingdom, unique combat experience, your troops get better the more they fight. Death is not the end guys, death is not the end. We will take the pain and punishment out of fighting. Your troops can be reborn to fight another day, so you've got that. Also, sophisticated diplomatic settings between the alliances. Deep crafting systems allow for further cost customization for your fighting style. There's an in-game economy, buy and sell items, dynamic monsters. Camps will spawn wandering monsters if not destroyed. Okay, so the enemy camps will spawn monsters. It's going to be a massive game world, ten times larger than some of the competitors out there. An advanced battle system, time attacks, and more. So right now we're jumping into the main uh, portal. As you saw the castle there in the background. Now we're getting jump back in. And we're going to make a couple more so that we get the total of 10. All right. Now these guys do have a Facebook, an Instagram, and a Twitter. They also have a YouTube page. Um, I'll put the links in the description so that you can look at those. Now this game is in develop development right now. Um, Fat Scott Squatch Games along with myself and the Riot Tech Corporation and a few other gamers that are a part of the Fat Squatch community are going to be helping out with this game. Um, it's it's going to happen guys. Uh, we're going to get out there and we're going to get it done. All right, so it looks like we made the 10 required spells. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the kingdom so that we can take a look at the kingdom. Right now, as this is just the demo, we've only got two castles that we can fight and two monsters. So I'm gonna attack this first castle on the left. And as you can see, my troops are marching towards the castle. Um, we're gonna fight it and see what the outcome is all right so victory he had no troops inside the castle so of course it's an overwhelming victory so now that the, my troops are back home i'm going to send them to attack the skeleton level 16 see if we can take him out this monster And of course, there's another wonderful victory. Wonderful victory. Monster is dead, so we're taking the Spoils of War back to the castle. So I'm going to scout this castle and see if I can defeat it. Here we go, scouting. All 
All right. So we got our scout summary here. It's a level 30 castle. We're going to send our troops. Didn't look like he had any troops garrisoned as well. So let's see what the outcome is. And another victory. Yeah, no troops garrisoned in that castle whatsoever either. So we've got one more monster. It looks like this one's going to be an impossible attack, but we're still going to try anyway. See if we can't beat this one. And it looks like we've been defeated. That monster looked like he was doing a victory dance there. Let's see what it does. All right, yeah, definitely we got defeated. Now, they haven't added a lot of this stuff into the game yet, as this is still just the demo, and they're still in development. So we've got alliances, we've got our alerts tab, you're going to have your mail, uh, of course you're going to have the equipment tab and the way to go back to your castle. As we're back in the castle now, I'm going to show you around this castle. Of course, we've got all these different buildings inside this castle wall, which I'm sure in the release game, you're going to have to build up and build one at a time. I'm sure they're not going to come like this, already built and ready for you to go out and, you know, attack. And then, of course, over here we've got the Darkling. That is the sole idea behind the game. The monster. It's going to be one of your strongest units. You're going to have to keep that guy on lock and key in that energy field. And you're going to have to continue to upgrade him to make him better. So we're just taking a look around the map. Seeing what they've thrown in. See if there's anything extra other, other than inside the wall. I mean, we got, looks like a skull on the outside of the mountain, spitting out water with a red eyeball. Uh, of course, there's a close-up view of the energy pan with the Darkling in there, the Earth Darkling. That's all, guys. Y'all stay tuned for more.